Solve the system of equations about a and b. 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b equals 42. a plus b equals 3. Of course, we have to start with the second equation. Why? Because a plus b is 3. This relationship is so simple. So now, we can directly get that b is 3 minus a. And this is very important. Because now, we can substitute b equals 3 minus a into our first equation. Then, it will become 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of 3 minus a equals 42. Now I'm unhappy. Why? Because you see, here is a minus a and on the exponent. I don't like it. So now what I'm going to do is to multiply 6 to the power of a on the both sides. So multiplying the both sides by 6 to the power of a. This is just 6 to the power of a times 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of a times 6 to the power of 3 minus a equals 42 times 6 to the power of a. Oh, so many powers of 6. We always have a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of the sum of the exponents m plus n. This one is of course 6 to the power of a then squared plus that is 6 to the power of a plus 3 minus a. a minus a cancel. So it is 6 to the power of 3 equals 42 times 6 to the power of a. Now you can see it is 6 to the power of a squared minus 42 times 6 to the power of a, then plus, this is 216 equals 0. Now tell me, what is this? This is just a quadratic equation about 6 to the power of a. If we substitute, we can let 6 to the power of a be t, for example. Then, the equation will turn to this form, an equation about t. t squared minus 24t plus 216 equals 0. So what does it mean? So now, we only have to solve for t. How? Factorization. Two hundred sixteen is thirty six times six. But here we have nearly forty two. So we have to write it as nearly thirty six times nearly six. So now here it is T minus thirty six, here is T minus six. So T1 is 36, T2 is 6. So that means for T1, 6 to the power of x1 equals 36. That means x1 is of course 2. And y1 is of course 3 minus 2 is 1. For our second case, 6 to the power of x2 equals 6, x2 is 1 and y2 is 2. So we get two pairs of solutions. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.